Well, YouTube, we got a couple of treats today. For me, anyway. We're uh, taking the first dirt on the WR. And we've got a guest. One Don Redman. Uh, not only is he a motorcycle adventurer, he's a full-time RVer. Uh, for the last three months, anyway. I followed him for about three years or so. And he's got a three-year plan or so to travel around and uh, ride his motorcycle. I encourage you to see his uh, YouTube channel and his blog. I'll put links uh, links down below. We're gonna we're gonna take him around and show him some of the desert dog sites. First stop at Desert Queen. So my assumption this was like the uh, offices or something, or at least the big dude's uh, house. The yeah. Desert Queen Mine. And it's actually right around that ridge up there on the other side. That's like a little guard shack or something. Yeah. Yeah, this has been gone for a long time. You can even see they had indoor plumbing and I think it lasted until the 20s or so. I would assume with a toilet there, they're probably, actually that's a shower. See the, this looks more like, you know, maybe teens or 20s. But from what I understand, the mine was there and around the corner was the town of, the quote unquote town of Weaver. That's one of them. The shaft is actually on the other side that you can um, walk up to. I think that was just a, either a, um, what do they call it? Uh, it's just another vertical air vent or something.
that's the only thing I can figure this is, is like a, you know, you come in, there's a counter there. Probably like, you know, checking the trucks with ore out. Could be. I mean, there's so much that get because resources were so slim even in the early part of the century. You know, they just wipe stuff out and use it someplace else. So I don't know if this was like an ore chute, but you can see it come, came all the way down here and off the side. No. <laughs> I got a little one, yeah. It's just crazy the stuff that they built out here for, you know, what they did. This was gold and silver. <clears throat> yep, it looks like a test hole. But you can see how it's just collapsed in. A test hole. But I always think, you know, these guys came in here and did their you know did their gig worked every day and we come here you know with our water packs on enjoying ourselves they probably didn't even notice the view behind them yeah, exactly especially in July and August well let's uh, go to the other side
driving in. Nice garage. <laughs> That's what this is all about. Yep, come right out here. They drag the ore out there and just pow. Of course, you're standing on all the tailings. So what I was, what I was trying to say was it, it was a machine like this. It looked just like this, except it went down in a chute. I'll, I'll come up with the name of it in just a second. But it had that little massive big thing that it went down and... Yeah, it's a stamp mill. Thank you. <laughs> Well, let's go see. Yep. Well, this flashlight ain't doing much good. <laughs> I think they were getting tired as they came on in because it's getting lower. Uh, this is about it. Usually I'm up here by myself. I'd rather not drop into a vertical shaft or a drift or something. <laughs> Oh, exactly. There's a collapse. Looks like an old ore chute. A bat just went by if you're afraid of bats. <laughs> so it looks like you got a collapse there. Look, it looks like it. Yeah, the chute came down. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's getting lower. So you can still see the ties on the ground. I think this is the main shaft right here. Uh, it's bigger and it's got ties in it. I'm just guessing at this stuff. <laughs> no pro here. Watch out for the guano. Yeah, actually looking up here, I wonder if this was the top of the vein that they were chasing. You see how the the color goes? Actually, you can actually follow it right back there. Take some home for your uh, house plants.
I believe so. Yeah, I can actually see more of that colored rock. It almost follows the whole See, that's what I worry about right there. Well, it's not too bad. That could be. Yeah, I don't want to get too far back in. Yeah, I'm, I'm shining on the ground, not on the ceiling. <laughs> Not a problem. Uh, All right, kids. That was uh, Desert Queen Wine with uh, me and Don Redmond. Again, I encourage you to check out his channel. We've got a few more rides with him to go here, but uh, this video is going to end. I appreciate you watching my videos. Please uh, subscribe, comment, like, and share. Adios.